G'day everyone, this is Jono from Road Train Adventures back again with another story and here we've got my son David and we're going to make, um, well we're going to do a bit of a freestyle on the truck. Now we have gone all the way from Melbourne to Perth back again, there's the reason the truck is pretty dirty. So we're in the backyard and uh, we're just going to go around the truck and uh, show you what we would normally do on a pre-start if we're, well, beginning of the trip or whenever. Let's start it. Alright, first things first, we're going to get the bonnet open and we will need this pipe for the ah. Okay, shut that David please. Alright, let's open these. So we use this pipe and we're going to oh, it's just like this. Not too hard. Okay David, can you open two of those? That's it. Can do those. I will continue with this. To do the rest of the bull bar behind here is this. So, basically, what we do is push and then the bull bar will come down. Now, luckily, this is, <laughs> luckily it's spring loaded, David. So, we're going to put that down there. And now, these clips over here need to do both of them. Goes out of the way. David's running to the other side to get to the other ones. That's it. Right there. They're apart. And now I need to lift it. In order to do this, basically, I hold this part here and lift. It's amazing. That's it. It's not too hard. Okay. Now, what are we going to look for first? Come around here. Okay, David, so here we have an engine. Who would have figured the red thing's an engine? In the bonnet, yes. Anyway, here is the dipstick, and so we're gonna be checking that. So, simply turn that a little and pull it out. So David, if you can hold this and come in nice and close, so you can come around this side. So we pull this out, get the rag ready, and we can see that there is Oh, it's just a little bit more than, well, about half anyway. So that's fine. The engine was serviced some time ago. So that's a fine amount of... All right, David, so what's next? Uh, we've checked the oil. Um, what's next? Check the radiator fan. The radiator, the, the gula level? Okay, yeah. let's go and check that. Okay. So the easiest way to check this, yes, you can do it from the ground, but David's a little bit smaller, so he's going to get up there and get in the engine bay, and that's how you check the coolant level, and especially manually. So David, um, what, are we, what are we doing there? So, checking the level and if you, write in the comments, do you know what this is? Name it, okay? All we'll right. see how many people got it. All right, okay. And so, then in the meanwhile, we what? are just below full. Just about full, okay. Now, if you want to be a little more certain, um, what are we going to do? We're going to open the radiator cap? Because let's just say uh, this truck's been sitting for, well, it should be long enough, so we should be able to open that radiator cap and um, visually inspect it. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm up here too, and uh, the quickest way to check this is well, first of all, if it's been running, which uh, this has been running, so you want to make sure that it's not going to be just be pissing water everywhere. So we use a rag and we're going to just open it slightly because you've, anyway, we'll just do that slightly. And that's open enough. So we know that we can now, oops, now we can open it all the way. And when we open it, we want to make sure that it is showing three quarters in, I think. Well, that's basically to the top. And you can see it's nice and green, so that's great. Our water is great. Now, let's uh, get down and uh, check the next part. All right, David, so we've just got down and, uh, well, you're very intelligent. 
You, we've noticed something. What is all of this? From the hub seal. Yeah, but what happened? Well, you got oil everywhere. Yeah, because the hub seal isn't really tight enough. Tight enough, or maybe we'll call it it's, uh, it's worn out. And this is what happens when a seal goes. We lose oil. Now, we, uh, the important thing is, I mean, the hub seal can go, and yes, you can keep going on it, but we need to make sure that we do have enough oil. You can see the oil level there. Yeah. There's enough there. We're only going to be going a couple of hundred more kilometers, and um, then the workshop can replace that. So how do we replace a, a hub seal? So you have to take off this wheel, then there's a little part where you could just plop it on, put the wheel on. Okay, um, well, so in, in, in interpreting that, so we take the wheel off and then the workshop will basically take this, the drum off, which is, uh, well, we got the, the drum brakes. So if you look behind, you might see more. So we'll go this side. So that's looking okay back there. So we know it's a hub seal because otherwise there'd be oil everywhere here. So behind there, take this all off and then you see there's a, anyway, there's a seal behind it. Uh, once they replace that seal, we're not gonna get this, well, this oil leaking, that is no good. So David was just asking, what is this silver thing? Well, you might remember in a few videos ago, or a number of videos ago, I had to replace that. That's the governor, here's the air compressor. We had to replace the governor because it went and the governor is something that turns the air compressor on and off as the tanks build up. Um, it'll turn the compressor off so it doesn't just build up too much. Thanks right. For telling me. Now, uh, what else do we do in a in a um, in a pre-start? Okay, we're going to do a visual check. Just going to yep. check around, check the belts and stuff like that. So as you can see, there's the V belts. I'm going to check that uh, things aren't cracked. We check the fan that uh, that's uh, looking okay. We haven't lost a blade or something like that. Um, let's see, we'll walk around, oh, we'll go around the back first. Now remember, we've just come back from a trip, so it is pretty dirty. We will clean all of this, this is no good. But uh, it's a part of it. Uh, we don't see anything coming off, the pipes and stuff. Everything's looking, apart from the dust, it's looking quite good. Yeah, there, it's looking good. The wheels are good. We don't have any wheel seals that are broken. Um, that's just normal, it just, it's just around the breather, that just collects dust if it's, you know, if you fill the tanks up too much. And everything else is looking good. We haven't got uh, any problems with the turbo there. We've got the belt here, nothing's wrong with the that. steering column, we can look at the belts from this side too. There's the air compressor, sorry, the compressor for the air conditioning. The alternator, which we always carry a spare of. The intercooler there. So basically, just having a quick visual look, we can't see anything wrong with it. So we're going to close it back up and um, basically put it down. It's uh, good to go. So let's uh, close it back up. Yep, let's do this. Okay, to, to close this back up, we're simply going to do the opposite of what we did. So. I pulled down on this mud guard. Uh, gently get it down like that. Um, we're going to put these on the opposite way that we took them off. We'll do the other side soon. Let's lift this uh, mud guard. I'm oh, sorry, the bull bar. Learn my stuff. Pick up the pin. This pin will just basically hold it in place. Now I can let that go. Right, there were so many bugs in there. Look at this. Look how thick these bugs are. Last night it was just shocking. Right. I'll lean, when I put this on, I'll lean on this and you can see that there's a bit of movement in that. So push against it as we do it up. Oh, also, these are the road train covers. Um, I always just loosen these off because this washer will grab hold of it and that's no good so do the first one up as tight as you can and then put the the rest of them on i can just now push these back on
Okay. Now, when we're doing these up, um, I start with the centre just to pull the bull bar as much as you can. Now, these don't have to be extremely tight. Just make it tight so you can. It's not going to come off. Okay. All right, David, let's see if you can do the other side. Easy. Easy, he says. Give it to her, David. Give it to her. That's it. Push it. That's it. There's one. Uh, all right, David. Now, we still got this pole to put away. Put that away. It's a bit high for David. These little boxes are not made for kids. Toolbox. So now, what about our rag? We've got one rag here. I always like to keep our rags. Don't lose those, otherwise, well, I've only got so many rags with me. Put that in there like that. Isn't that nice? And you know, keep that shut. Well, that's it. Um, a quick pre-start, and the pre-start doesn't have to take long. It should be just be a, a quick car. Uh, Kick it, walk around, check the oil, the, we'll call it the fluids, the, the oil and the coolant level. And those are the main things that, uh, well, the truck relies on, apart from fuel, but anyway. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the, in the next one.